Hi, Chris Wallace from Second Swing. We're out at Encinitas Ranch Golf Club here in Southern California at the Cobra Tour Truck. I'm here with Mike Hearn. Mike, how's it going? Great, Chris, how are you? Awesome, thanks for having us out today. Absolutely, what a perfect day. Oh, it's beautiful. We got the chance to hit a uh, new F8 gear from Cobra today, drivers, irons, fairways, hybrids. Had a great time. Uh, first off, for our uh, viewers, tell us what you do with Cobra. Yes, I'm the custom fitting specialist uh, for Cobra Puma Golf, meaning I kind of curate all the fitting tools that you'll see at any authorized Cobra fitting facility, uh, including the Globe. So it's a, it's a great job, it's a lot of fun. I get to kind of play around with the toys all the time. And it's, a, it's been a really exciting process for 2018 going into F8, F8 Plus. Yeah, a lot of hype. Ricky went in Hero World Challenge with F8 Plus driver going low on Sunday. Very low. Starting his round with what, seven birdies in a row? Seven birdies in a row. Uh, it's, a, it's a credit to the tour guys. They get him into the, right, typically a Tigers tournament every year, and it's uh, to get it in the first week and win and uh, in impressive fashion was great for us and our brand. So let's talk a little bit about the uh, F8 and F8 Plus driver. Two models. Now, you obviously, big part of what you do, fitting big part of what we do at Second Swing is fitting, but there's obviously going to be golfers out there who maybe won't have the opportunity to get fit, going to have to try to self-fit themselves. As far as these two drivers go, what advice would you give somebody who's all about the F8, wants to play the club Ricky's playing, in terms of maybe figuring out which model is right for them? Where would that process sort of start? Yeah, I, I want to think at, at Cobra, we kind of design golf clubs for, I think, any any player type. I think F8 kind of fits probably 80% of the golfers out there. And I think it's a good place to start just because it gives you a lot of opportunity to kind of, if you're going to kind of self-fit yourself or if you want to go out and kind of test this yourself. But I think we think about it in terms of we want to make a very forgiving product and having the center of gravity movable. Uh, anytime you can get the heavy weight in the back, it's going to give you the most uh, forgiveness, uh, the, the more, you know, resistance to twisting so better hits on off center hits and then if you struggle a little bit if you're a right-handed golfer and you you know have a little bit of a slice a little bit of a tail you can take that weight there and move it all the way in here to the heel to help you kind of create more of a draw setting and then the also thing you know the other thing you can tune yourself is this my fly technology so typically 10.5 is our standard loft here but if you struggle with you know getting the ball in the air you can get the loft all the way up to 12 with this head or if you need to hit it a little bit lower we can get you all the way down to nine degrees with this head and also if you need that a little bit more of that slice or prevent of that you can put it in the draw setting so it will also help you kind of self-correct that as well yeah and so the f8 plus now who's going to be the kind of guy that's you're going to see go into that most often well typically the f8 plus you know i think it kind of fits in a kind of somebody that wants to be able to maneuver the golf ball maybe more of an advanced player that wants to move, move it left to right right to left and then also typically the ball speeds, you typically have a ball speed of 150 miles an hour or higher to kind of fit into an F8 Plus product. And, and the idea here is now the weight is now from front to back. Typically if you get the heavy weight in the front, that's going to give you a little bit quicker ball speed, a little less spin. If you need a little bit more forgiveness in this head, then I would recommend moving the weight to the back of the head. So that kind of gives you the best of both worlds in the F8 Plus driver. Now I think a lot of times maybe there's, you know, recreational golfers have this misconception that there's like a pro version driver and then if there is a standard version that's really sort of a game improvement club but with the standard F8 that's not really the case at all. Correct. I think if you're looking for our most game improvement model that'll be our F Max line. So I think the F8 kind of fits just about any player profile. Uh, it's already a very low spinning head. I think if you think of game improvement they're not low spinning heads. This F8 driver is a very low spin head. I just think it just offers you a little bit more forgiveness over F8 Plus. F8 Plus is going to profile shape-wise, look a little smaller from the top position, maybe a little deeper face, uh, and, and definitely for a more advanced player, they tend to tend to prefer that look. So I think that's kind of why we differentiate between the F8 Plus and the F8 heads. Yeah, and to your point, you know, we got a chance to do some testing today. I'm a lower handicap player, but more modest swing speed. F8 definitely worked better for me. Correct. And then my colleague Kellen, who was up there 115 miles an hour, even at his club head speed, and he's a good player, he still got, you know, the F8 still worked for him as well. Yeah, absolutely. So I, I think, you know, when you're looking at it, you know, I was using TrackMan today, and that's what we use here at Cobra Golf to kind of understand where we're going. Uh, we're looking at ball speed. We're also looking at launch angle and spin rates. And in your case, Chris, you know, with the F8 product, you tend to hit a little bit down on it. That's not necessarily a negative thing, and your spin rate's always been very low. What you struggle with is launch angle. And I think the F8 had provided a little higher launch for a little more optimal distance for you. Outstanding. Mike, thanks. We appreciate it. Absolutely. Thank you, Chris. Thank you.